after all, science has shown that a person's character isn't truly established until he's at least five years old. But I am five. I'm more than five. Oh. Well, that's the way it goes. You're a good man, Charlie Brown. The only thing wrong with my big brother, Charlie Brown, is his lack of confidence. Mm, his inferiority in his lack of confidence. His clumsiness, his inferiority in his lack of confidence. His stupidity, his clumsiness, his inferiority in his lack of confidence. His terrible You're wrong a good man, Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown. You're the kind of reminder we need. Did you know that Charlie Brown has never pitched a winning baseball game? Never been able to keep a kite in the sky? Never won a game of checkers? And never successfully punted a football? Sometimes I marvel at his consistency. You have humility, nobility, and a sense of honor that is very, very indeed. I think Charlie Brown has nice hands. <laughs> it's truly a dog's life, filled with many challenges. You try and act excited when the round-headed kid comes home from school. You're a prince, and a prince could be king. Now, Linus, I want you to take a good look at Charlie Brown's face. Would you please hold still a minute, Charlie Brown? I want Linus to study your face. Now, this is what you would call a failure face. Notice how it has failure written all over it? Study it carefully. You rarely see such a good example. Notice the deep lines, the dull, vacant look in the eyes. Yes. I would say this is one of the finest examples of a failure face that you're liable to see for a long while. You're a good man. You're a good man. Some days I like to wake up early and watch the sunrise, and I think how beautiful it is, and how my life lies before me. And I get a very positive feeling about things. Like this morning, for instance. The sky is so clear and the sun is so bright. How can anything go wrong on a day like this? I'm late! Good man, Charlie Brown. There they go again. Good man, 
sit and have lunch with her. She'd probably laugh right in my face. It's hard on a face when it gets laughed in. Then again, there is an open spot next to her on the bench. I don't see why I couldn't just go over there and sit by her. I could do that. I could do that right now. All I need to do is stand up. I'm standing up. I'm sitting down. <sighs> I'm a coward. I'm so much of a coward that she wouldn't even think about looking at me. She hardly ever looks at me. In fact, I can't remember a time that she's ever looked at me. Why doesn't she look at me? Is she so great and I'm so small that she can't spare me one little moment? She's looking at me. Oh God, she's looking at me. No, Sally, you're thinking of that other dress, the one I wore at Lucinda's party. The one I'm talking about was the very light blue one and had a design embroidered around the waist. I don't remember. Something like this. And the skirt went out like this, and had these puff sleeves and a sash like this. Oh, yes, I remember. <laughs> yes, well, that was the dress I was wearing last week when I met Frida, and she told me Lunchtime she Lunchtime is the worst time of day for me. <laughs> if that little red-headed girl sees me with this bag on my head, she's going to think I'm the biggest fool alive. <gasps> Maybe if I take it off really fast, she'll never notice it was on in the first place. On the other hand, I don't know if she's looking at me until I take the bag off. On the other hand, it is very hard to breathe in here. Okay. <laughs> she's not looking at me. I wonder why she never looks at me. Oh well, one lunch hour over with only 2,863 to go. All I need is one more try. Gotta get that kite to fly. And I'm not the kind of guy who gives up easily. You're a good man. You're a good man. Good 
closer to her by directing the forces of his life towards a goal that he truly believes in. And, and I think that a man's personal search for happiness is not really a selfish thing either. Because by achieving true happiness, he himself can help others to find it. Does that make sense to you? We had spaghetti at our house three times this week. <laughs> Charlie Brown? No, not at all. I mean, we all have our little daydreams or ambitions or whatever you want to call them. I've had one of my own for years, but never told anyone. What? Charlie Brown, you can tell me? No, it's not the sort of thing that I should tell. Oh, come on. I wouldn't give it away. Come on, please. Well, I've always wanted to be called Flash. I hate the name Charlie. I'd like to be real athletic and so good at everything that everyone knows me as Flash. Hey, yeah. Marina, listen to this! What's the matter, Sally? Well, I don't know. I was jumping rope. Everything was all right. And suddenly, it all seemed so futile. Beethoven used to be fond of taking long walks in the country. He was always inspired by the beautiful sounds of the countryside. You blockhead! Give me that ball! Beethoven had a nice. <laughs> I think I'm losing my flavor. <laughs> Hey, Snoopy, we're home from school. Woof. Hi there, fella. Gosh, it's good to see you. Oh, Snoopy, you're so adorable. OK, Snoopy, back on your doghouse. I'll be out later with your supper. I think Snoopy's such a wonderful dog. Me too. He's just about the best there is. They like me. I think this world is never remarkable how things turned out so well. Pleasant day, pretty skies, life goes on. Here I Creature, creature. 
studying the Civil War, and you see, this is called playing with the past. Really? Certainly. And it's very good, for it helps these many men escape from their everyday problems. And that's why I feel it'll be absolutely necessary for me to get my money back. So, what I'm going to do is just give it a good yank. It's amazing what you can accomplish with some smooth talking and fast action.
sure someone can become a queen after being born to a proper royal family in the correct lineage, assuming that they'll take the throne of the current reigning monarch after their death. But other than that, I can't think of any possibility for you to become a queen. I'm sorry, Lucy. It's true. And be in the summertime! I'll go to my summer palace and I'll wear my crown and swimming and everything, and all of the people will cheer and I will shout at them and... What do you mean I can't be queen? It's true. There must be a loophole. This kind of thing always has a loophole. Nobody should be kept from being queen if she wants to be one. It's undemocratic! Good grief. I bet it's just a matter of knowing the right people. I'm sure a few pieces of well-placed correspondence and I get to be queen in no time. I think I'll watch television. I know what I'll do! If I can't be queen, then I'll be very rich! Yes, I'll work and work until I'm very rich, and then I'll buy myself a queendom. God, Yes, I'll buy myself a queendom, and then I'll kick out the old queen and take over the whole operation myself. I will be head queen. Okay, switch channels. What? Are you kidding me? I'm not, I'm not one of your royal subjects. What makes you think you just come in here and take everything over? These five fingers. Individually, they are nothing. But when I curl them together into a single unit, they become a fighting force terrible to behold! Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> Not 
such a clumsy guy. If I really tried, I can really fly. Oh, no, no, no! Maybe she did send me one, and it's in our mailbox right now! <laughs> I'm afraid to look. If I look and there's nothing in there, I'll be crushed. On the other hand, if she did send me one, <clears throat> I've got to look! Hello! Nothing echoes like an empty mailbox. Snoopy likes me. 
He only pretends to like you because you feed him. That doesn't count. Or Snoopy. Oh, why was I born just to be? Well, this small person is thoroughly, totally, utterly. Wait! You are not very much of a person. That's certain. And yet there is reason for hope. There's hope. For although you are no good at music like Schroeder, or happy like Snoopy, or a love. Today, hooray, Beethoven, hooray! I got it, I got it! We'll demand 
Queen of Beethoven superstars. But we'll have a Beethoven theme park. But oh, hey, we'll have a big sale. Wait, that's too commercial. Let's imagine it, a glorious hour, filled with emotion and inspired with power. When we all honor the man we adore, on the day we face the moon's face.
maybe if I'm lucky, tomorrow will be better. Well, in some parts of the world, tomorrow is already today. And today is yesterday. So, if tomorrow is already today, then Charlie Brown, there's just no possible way for tomorrow to be a better day. You're a lot of fun to have around. Chasing rabbits, 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 chasing rabbits. Rabbits? Rabbits. Rabbits. A book report on Peter oh, Rabbit. Peter oh, Rabbit. A book report on Peter Rabbit. Peter Rabbit.
Sally, but I gotta go practice Chopin's Nocturne in B flat minor. No! Oh, I like. No! That's a good philosophy. No! 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 That's your new philosophy, huh? Yes! I mean, no! Just like a busy bee, my new philosophy can fly from tree to tree and keep me moving. Some philosophies are simple, man does not live by bread alone. Some philosophies are clear, keep your message at the sound of the tone. Some philosophies pick and choose, deciding what goes in and some take a left arm. I take minutes. But Sally, anything that only takes a minute can't be very lasting. For instance, it took Beethoven over two years to complete his brilliant Ninth Symphony. No! I can't stand it! I can't stand it! I like ah. it! It's like a guaranteed line in philosophy And things are sure to be a whole lot brighter Oh yeah, that's what you think. Why are you telling me? No, I can't stand it! Now my face is free and easy Much more philosophy with my brand new You know, someone has said that we should live each day as if it were the last Three balls, two strikes. 
box, the bases were loaded with two men out. I pitched my curve, but somehow we hit it a good strong clouds. Lucy, I hollered, it's coming right to you. She caught it as easy as pie and dropped it. I don't think it's good for teams morale to see their manager cry. Snoopy helped out by biting the run and catching the ball with his teeth. I'm sorry to have to say this right to your face, Lucy, but it's true. You're a very crabby person. I know that your crabbiness has probably become so natural to you now that you're not even aware when you're being crabby. But it's true just the same. You're a very crabby person, and you're crabby to just about everyone you meet. Now, I hope you don't mind me saying this, and I hope that you take it in the way it's been. But I think we should all be open for any opportunity to learn more about ourselves. I think Socrates was very right in saying that the first rule in life is to know thyself. Well, I think I've said about enough. I hope I haven't offended you or anything. Well, who was Socrates anyway, huh? Who was she anyway? Did she ever get to be queen? Tell me that. Did she ever get to be queen? Did she ever get to be queen? Who was Socrates anyway? Know thyself. Ugh. Hey Snoopy, come on. Want to help me get my arm back in shape? Watch out for this one. It's a new fastball. Excuse me a moment, Charlie Brown, but I wonder if you'd mind answering a few questions? Certainly, Lucy. Well, I'm conducting a survey to enable me to know myself better. And first, I'd like to ask, on a scale of 0 to 100, using a standard of 50 is average, 75 is above average, and 90 is exceptional, where would you rate me with regards to crabbiness? Well, Lucy, I don't, I don't... Your ballots need not be signed, and all of your answers will be held in the strictest confidence. Well, still, that's a very difficult question to answer, Lucy. You may have some time to think it over if you'd like, or we can come back to this question later. I think I'd like to come back to it later, if you don't mind. This next one deals with certain character traits you may have observed. Regarding personality, would you say that mine was A, forceful, B, pleasing, or C, objectionable? Would that be A, B, or C? What would your answer be to that, Charlie Brown? <laughs> 
A, B, or C? What'll it be, hmm, Charlie Brown? Hmm? I guess I'd have to say forceful, Lucy, but... Forceful, I see. Well, we'll put a check mark at letter A. Now, would you rate my ability to get along with others as poor, fair, good, or excellent? Well, that depends on what you mean by get along with others. You know, make friends, sparkle in a crowd, that sort of thing. Is there room for abstention? Certainly. I'll just put a check mark at none of the above. This next one deals with physical appearance. In referring to my beauty, would you say that I was stunning, mysterious, or intoxicating? I don't know, Lucy. You look just fine to me. Stunning, I see. Well, Charlie Brown, I think it's about time we get back to that first question. On a scale of 0 to 100, using a standard of 50 as average, 75 as above average, and I... I, I remember the question, Lucy. Well? 51. 51 is your crabbiness ready for me. Very well. That about does it, I guess. Thank you very much for helping me with this survey, Charlie Brown. Your cooperation has been greatly appreciated. It's been a pleasure, Lucy. Come on, Snoopy. Oh, just a minute. One more question. Would you answer yes or no to the question? Is Lucy Van Pelt the sort of person that you would like to see as president of your club or civic organization? Well, yes, by all means, Lucy. Yes. Well, thank you very much. That about does it, I think. <laughs> I'm sure Lucy knows now that she can't be crabby anymore. Anymore? 
Where is everybody? I told them to be here. You told them to be here. If we don't rehearse now, we won't be able to sing in the assembly tomorrow. The assembly tomorrow. Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown. Linus. Linus. Lucy. Lucy. Give me that pencil, you blockhead! No, not until you promise to give me back my crayons! That's my best pencil, you block! If you don't give me my pencil, I'll tell Sally what you said about her. Stop that! You're late, we have to rehearse. What did you say about me, Lion? He said... Lucy! Stop! Hey, I'm sorry I'm late. There's no yeah. time to be sorry. What did he say? He said... Quiet! Remember, this is a mood piece. We must paint the picture with our music and words. And concentrate!
a good man, Charlie Brown.